Hi, I am Dr. Wakari. Uh, I am going to tell you about triglycerides. Whenever you go to the doctor and he suspect any lipid levels or cholesterol levels are high, so he advised you to go for the lipid profile test which is performed after 12 hours of the fasting. So when you get the results, there are three or four types of cholesterol mentioned in that results in which there are total cholesterols, LDL cholesterol, triglycerides and HDL cholesterol. HDL cholesterol is a heart friendly cholesterol, it is known as good cholesterol. All other cholesterols are bad cholesterols, known as bad cholesterol because they are risk factors for of future heart attacks and heart diseases. So it is important to know what is the difference. Now, the triglycerides, no doubt it's a bad cholesterol, but it's different from other cholesterols. How is it different? Because it is produced and its levels are increased in the body due to higher sugar levels or high intake of the carbohydrates and less consumption of the calories which you have already uh, taken in the form of food. So it's important to reduce the triglyceride level because triglyceride independently itself is a risk factor for developing the heart disease. So all the things like sugar, sugar items in which bakery items, biscuits, cakes, pastries, uh, all these things and cold drinks, even the juices, packed juices, processed juices, this contains high sugar contents. When you utilize them, they causes the increase in the triglyceride levels as well. But not always, but most of the time it happens like this. So it is important to reduce the triglycerides to have a less risk factors, at least from this. When the triglyceride levels are raised in the body, so this also causes the increase in the, all the other cholesterol levels as well. So uh, this may cause the production of plaques in the coronary arteries and other arteries as well. So when these plaques are produced, this causes hindrances in the flow of the blood and later on these plaques may got ruptured and the blood become clotted there and it causes the stoppage of the blood supply to the vital organs like heart. So this can cause heart attack. Normal levels of triglycerides are 150 mg per deciliter. but when there are risk factors or developing heart disease or any other things, then the, our target must be lower than 150, around 100. When the uh, triglyceride levels are between 150 to 300 or 350, we call it mildly increased triglyceride levels. When it is from 350 to 450 or 500, it's a moderate increase. When the triglyceride levels crosses the line of 450 to 500 or even more, this means it's a high cholesterol triglyceride level and these are high risk levels. So we need to reduce them. How you can reduce them? Because this can make problems, this can cause high risk. So you need to reduce it by different ways. When you go to the doctor, doctor gives you the statins, medicines named statins. Statins reduces the cholesterol levels, but not the triglyceride. It have a little effect on the triglyceride. But when the triglycerides are very high, you need a separate medicine for the triglycerides, which are usually known as fibrates. It, it contains gamma fibrosil as well as phenofibrate. But now there is another tablet available in the market, which is also called azitimibe. Azitimibe can be given alone or it can be given in the combination with the statins. So when you use these for the for such a, such a prescribed period of time, this will cause a decrease in the triglyceride levels. But medicine only is not enough sometimes, so you need to reduce it with the food as well. So as I mentioned before, that the food items causes the increase in triglycerides, you must avoid them. In addition to that, you must use the cod liver oil, fish oil, uh, which contains omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, these are very helpful for the heart and decrease in the triglyceride levels. But you can also take fish. Which fish is good? Salmon fish, tuna fish and camel fish. These have got high uh, sources of uh, uh, omega-3 fatty acid and omega-3 fatty acid reduces the triglycerides significantly. So you can also utilize, uh, use some uh, food supplement containing omega-3 fatty acid 
in addition to separate uh, capsules and tablets are also available for omega-3 acids uh, in the market you can use them and you must use them to reduce the triglyceride levels now we come to the another factor because one is the medicine second is the uh, food items and third one is the exercise exercise is very much important because triglycerides are the energy sources for the skeletal muscles when you do the exercise skeletal muscles take uh, energy from the fat uh, deposited in your tummy in the form of triglycerides and defatted uh, droplets so when you do the exercise these triglyceride levels comes down your weight reduces and you feel much better you, your weight is reduced, reduced and your risk factors are reduced as well so it's very good to know this okay, your triglyceride levels are reduced so it means you are relatively risk-free now so it is important to concentrate on your diet on your medicine as well as on your exercise and i hope you will uh, get more information from this and please subscribe and link click on the link below and uh, you will get more informative video related to your heart thank you very much